Hey guys, my name is Sanjay and welcome to the Engineer Wannabe YouTube channel. Uh, today we have a special unboxing. It's a watch I've been waiting for for some time, about a year now, I think. Um, I wasn't pressing the matter about getting it, but I am glad I finally have it. And it's here. Um, before we get into unboxing it and possibly resizing it, I'm going to try that on uh, on camera. Um, or swatch check is my Grand Seiko SBG W289. This is the Sakura uh, 37 millimeter case, 44 GS style case uh, on bracelet. Really enjoying this. I've only really had it for one week, so this is kind of a double blow to double whammy, um, double whammy, I guess, in both instances, positive and negative. <laughs> but um, gonna skip the whole unboxing thing because it is a, a, a tutor which doesn't um, mean there's different stuff going on. So chances are good you've seen Tudor unboxings and there's not much going on there. That's the watch. It is the Pelagos, the Tudor Pelagos 39. So I'm, I'm really interested in this. So weird story, I guess we can talk about it while I'm sizing it. Um, so there's a couple of other things in here. Of course, you got the... Uh, um, warranty card, uh, chronometer certification, and user manual instructions and stuff in there. Um, thankfully, they still do the rubber strap or the sil silicone strap that goes with it. Interesting, um, I think it's uh, similar with the full-size Pelagos, but interesting, interestingly, you get three pieces. This is how you, I guess, strap it onto really big... Um, devices or really outside of a diving bell or something I'm guessing um, so what you do is you'd have these two on the watch like this and then you'd attach this to this and then this to this to get it super large um, interesting solution <laughs> I, I'm not sure how common that is in the industry um, but the great side effect or the great consequence is that you get two buckles and uh, I'm okay with that <laughs> uh, so yeah that's uh, that's a very nice very nice outcome I'm gonna keep this out here actually so I have access to them um, and I put the box in storage so yeah there we go let's keep those out there keep the extra one in here all right, so let's put this away. I'm going to probably very minimally edit this, and uh, I hope that's okay with you all. Uh, take it as an opportunity to chat with you. But so what happened was back, uh, back when they announced this, I think sometime in August of 2022, they announced the Black Bay, not the Black Bay, but the Pelagos 39. And it was pretty big. It was a pretty big deal. Um, I was very interested in it. I thought this was the, the one, um, and I was hoping to get my hands on it. I got the call for it a, a little while ago. Um, I think earlier, uh, early 2023, I got the call for it, but I had just purchased a, a different watch and I thought maybe I'll catch the next one. And, uh, and that didn't happen until just now. So, um, but in that moment when I did refuse it, the Black Bay 54 was announced. So I, I thought, hey, I'm glad I missed the Pelagos 39 because the Black Bay 54 seems to be a better watch for me. Turns out, uh, not so much, at least, yeah, I, I, I didn't entirely enjoy, enjoy the Black Bay 54. It was okay. It was a pretty good watch. Um, but just not for me. And, uh. And so we went back to asking for this and yeah, today, today was the day. Uh, it was a bit of a surprise and, and we got the, got the watch. So let's uh, go ahead and see what I need to do here uh, to size this thing. And we'll talk about the watch while we do that. I'm really enjoying the, the finishing on this. Uh, it's a very smooth and, and fine brushing on the bracelet and on the watch, of course. But, uh, yeah, chances are good I had to take all those links out on the, on the 6 o'clock. So I'll do that first. 
Uh, I'm a little nervous about doing this behind the camera. I don't want to accidentally scratch. I'm going to just use some cheapo Amazon screwdrivers because I don't think I'll need anything extra special. I'm in focus here. Where does that fit? That looks like it fits pretty nicely. Okay. No play. We're good. Put some pressure in and turn. Oh, I'm not feeling any movement. Okay. I might have to use some heat. Okay, let me try another screw. This is kind of hard behind the camera. I hope I don't mess up these screws. Pressure, turn. Hmm. No good. Try this one. Okay, I kind of had to cut uh, cut the footage there for a second. It was really unnerving because there was so much pressure uh, or resistance while I was backing out the screw. Um, and I thought I was actually stripping the screw and I was really concerned there for a bit. But it uh, turns out it was just a bit of pressure, just a bit of resistance. Uh, so no need to be alarmed. Let me check the screw heads. I'm one of those nut bars that cares about this. Yeah, not ideal. I didn't do the greatest job there. Not too happy with myself, but I guess that's what happens when you're behind the camera. <laughs> I'm not entirely behind the camera, um, but I, I should be. I should be doing better here. Okay. Uh, let's get these guys out. See, the thing with Tudor is you can only really take two links off the uh the six o'clock position i've noticed that in other watches too so centering the the clasp on your wrist is a little tricky with the tutor um there is a bit of a hack i think i've showcased it previously on on one of the black bay videos where you took out you take out the um flip lock folding clasp here and you can take out this last link as well um, and then use a spring bar the way you take out the way you take this out is it's just a, a spring bar here so you uh, compress the spring bar you take the the, uh, the um, fold over clasp out let me be a little gentle here yeah i hope this is not too boring for you guys um may not make it into the video anyway so we'll see we'll see what happens i may just cut all this out and put my final thoughts in the video um, okay tighten this puppy up pardon my kids in the background there uh, let's see if i catch there it is you feel the little click as the screw hits the the thread oh, and there's that pressure weird resistance like a permanent constant resistance yeah it's really really something okay we need to over tighten it just get a minute of tightening take a look at the screw head uh it's all right it's, it's all right it's all right yeah, not ideal, but it's all right. I've seen worse coming straight from the, the AD. Huge clasp. See, one thing I'd like to mention is this is kind of a shame. Um, you got this huge clasp, but the amount of adjustability is not really that high. That's just it. And uh, it's the clasp is basically covering this diver's extension. Um, I don't know. 
I mean, it's nice that there's a diver's extension for the divers who buy this, I guess. But, yeah. It's not... And when this is... See, when this is fully extended, that uh, that is exposed. So it's not a... Not a very classy execution of the bracelet, even though the bracelet is gorgeous. The, the taper is so nice. Um, yeah, it looks, looks good like that, but then when you extend it, especially having seen the Submariner, now I know it's, it's I shouldn't be comparing the Submariner to this because it's half the price, but it's hard not to think about the Submariner since I just just had hands-on experience for about a month with it. Looks like I have to take all the links out. <laughs> That's funny. That's not uncommon, unfortunately. Okay, let's do it. Let us do it, shall we? Oh, let me double check. I don't want to take them all out and then I have to put one back in. That's not fun. Hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You know what? I'm going to try taking two out. Two of the three. And leave one in. So be it. Right? Let's do that. So, take that one out. And that one out. Okay, here goes. Alright, let's see how I did with these screws <laughs> that was that was not fun either it was super uh resistant very high resistance to the unscrewing which is a good sign i guess it's not going to just back out maybe it's the thread locker they put in there part of my nails as well uh yeah what's well, a thread locker but it's not not horrible. And the screw head is alright. It's alright. Screw head here is alright. Not great. Better than the last time, I think. Alright, let's get this guy out of there. Get this thing in here. Fumbling around. Trying to stay in the shot. Okay, last one, see how it goes. Not gonna screw this one in, I'm just gonna leave that like that. Let's see. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> It's loose. It's loose. Yeah, that's loose. Okay. Take another one out. Take another one out. We're taking all the links out. We're taking all the links out. Why not? Let's do this. Get that guy out of there. Lots of space. Lots of space to work with. Okay, we'll do this one on camera. We'll try to. Lots of pressure. Feel the little break of the thread locker and then whoa, really high resistance, which is unusual. Unusual for me with my limited experience. Not saying that I'm an experienced watchmaker or anything of the sort. Not an experienced bracelet resizer. No siree. Not me. Alright. Let's get that last one out of there. Uh, you're out of here. Alright. All right. Now, inevitably, this is going to be too tight. So, I'm going to have to use some of that 
some of that T-fed clasp, clasp action, which again isn't ideal. I'd rather have got a perfect fit here. Ah, okay. Nice and easy. There's that pressure. Makes me feel like I'm cross-threading it, but I know I'm not. Okay. Ooh! Just go for it. Just go for it. Oh, no. <laughs> that did not feel good. That did not feel good. All right. Still out a bit. I got to push it in. Ah, that does not feel good. That just feels destructive to the screw head. Yeah, I can still feel it. I can still feel it, so I gotta turn it some more. Ooh, a little nervous. It's still going. It's still going. Wow. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. Now, how's it going again? There we go. All right, it's gonna to be too tight. It's gonna to be too tight. Oh, yeah. That is snug, 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 snug. Okay, so not terrible though, right? Not terrible. Now, T fit class back a little bit. couple of notches there that's good that is nice but oh no <laughs> that doesn't look good <laughs> oh well can't win them all you know kind of lose a lot actually but uh, come on tutor come on tutor you have the tech you have the tech to do this better but hey still feels great Wonderful watch. Let's do, uh, yeah, that oh, feels nice. Very nice. Oh, a bit of backplate feels like, yeah, maybe not. Okay, so, uh, very nice. Very grateful to have an opportunity to own this. Um, we'll see how I enjoy this. <laughs> This eyesore here. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, winter winter months are coming in soon. I should be able to go fully in on that T-fit clasp. And if I do that, if I go fully in on the T-fit clasp, there is no unsightly thing going on there. And it's kind of snug and tight, but... Yeah, hey, you know what? Let's try let's try one notch. I went a couple of notches there, right? I went a couple of notches. This is a little tricky to just get one notch. Ah, that's one notch. Oh! Okay, one notch. Okay. Yeah, less tight. Uh more a little less eyesore. Less eyesore. Less tight, less eyesore. Alright, is that a win? That's a win. That is a win for me. Now, you know what? I could actually still move this up here, I think. This could... Yeah, no, that probably wouldn't look too good. It'd be um, a nice, unsightly little thing right at the edge of my wrist. But, yeah, very long clasp. And not, not for any particular reason other than to hide that dive extension. And there's no hiding that dive extension if you have to use any of the T-fit clasps. So, oh man, that is self-defeating. <laughs> they, they could have cut that in there. Might as well show it off all the time, right? Might as well show off the dive extension all the time if it's going to show up if you use the T-fit anyway. Um, well, Tudor can't be better than Rolex. That's the, that's the problem. Even though I think this watch is... Remarkably close. Remarkably close to being better than a couple, a couple of Rolexes at least. Oh, the titanium is so light. Feels so good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I am sorry if I was out of focus or out of shot uh, for a lot of this, but thanks so much for watching. Uh, you are infinitely valuable. You really are. I hope you know that. Take care, stay safe, and see you in the next video. Bye.